Welcome to eLearning Out Loud. My name is Joe Suarez, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom transition in PowerPoint. Let's get started. Within PowerPoint, we can create a transition between any two slides. Here I have two example slides, and on the second one, with the Transitions tab selected, I'm just going to come over here and cycle through some of them for you. So obviously we can have some subtle transitions such as fade and push and wipe and those types of things. And then we can get a little more extreme, things like vortex and shred. What if you wanted to create something completely custom or you wanted to take things a little bit further than what PowerPoint allows? You do have the ability to create custom transitions by being a little bit creative with shapes and animations. Let me show you how. We can think of transitions as having two parts, the transition in and the transition out. So I'm going to create a slide for my transition in. I'm just going to duplicate this slide and remove this text. And the way I'm going to create my transition is with a few shapes. So I'm just going to add a rectangle starting in the corner of the screen here. And I want to go halfway onto the screen. And what's great about PowerPoint is it gives me this little visual indicator that I'm halfway and it snaps onto it so I can let go. And then I'm going to duplicate that shape and drag this one to the other side. I'm going to highlight them both by holding down the control key. And then I'm going to drag that to fill the whole screen. Now I want these to be white. So I'm going to come up here Actually, I'm going to right click and go to format object. And that brings up this pane over here where I can change the color of these shapes. Now, ultimately, I don't want a line color on the shapes, but I'm going to leave them here for a minute just so we can see what's going on. Now, the key to this whole effect is adding animations onto these individual shapes. In this case, I could do a wipe. And as you can see, that gives a very subtle effect. It has like a gradient to it that almost looks like it's a little blurred. I actually want it to be solid and very abrupt. So I'm going to use the fade in option. Now we can see over here at the duration that it's set to half a second. And that may seem pretty fast, but in the realm of transitions, that's actually slow. So we want to speed that up. I'm going to say 0.15 seconds for each one. And if we were to preview that, you would see that they both come in very quickly. So with my timing set, the way I want this transition to work is one of these goes up and another one goes down. So we can change that up here in the effect options. By default, that's from bottom to top. So I'll leave that alone for the first one and I'll change it on the second one to be from the top. As you can see, that came down really quickly from the top, and this one will go from the bottom. So let's take a look at that. And when I click the mouse, the transition occurs. Now that we have our transition in, what we want to do is focus on our transition out. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the line now that you can see what's happening and copy those. So I'm going to paste those shapes onto the slide that I want to transition over to. And then now we basically want to reverse the effect. Previously, we had an entrance effect of fly in. Now we want an exit transition of fly out. So I change that by coming up here, still on the animations tab, expanding my options. And I will select under exit, fly out. In order for this effect to come together the way I want to, I want it to be the opposite of the way it flew in. If you remember from the transition inside, this one was coming from the bottom to the top and this one from the top to the bottom. So here we want to reverse those. So I'm going to say in the effect options, I want this one on the left to go from the bottom to the top like that. And we'll keep this one from the top to the bottom. I'll select them both again. And again, we will change our duration from half a second to 0.15 seconds. That'll speed things up a bit. And if we take a look at that, you can see that that works very well. So let's look at the whole thing and see what we got so far. So here's the first slide. I'm going to click to go to my transition in slide. I need to click again to make it happen. And then I'm going to click again to go to my 
final slide that is going to transition out and I click again to reveal. Now, ideally, I don't want to have to click the mouse several times to make this transition happen. So the way to fix this is to go to the Animations tab and open up the Animations pane. And then we're going to do some adjustments on the animations that are happening. So on the first one here, instead of Start on Click, I want to say Start After Previous. And I could have them happen both at the same time, but I think it'd be nice if this one started right after the other one, so I'll say start after previous for the second rectangle on the screen. And I'll do the same for this slide here. Instead of on click, we will say start with previous and start after previous. And if we look at that again, here's my first slide. I click once. I get the transition in. That happens automatically now. I click one more time. I get the transition out. Now that could be enough, just two mouse clicks, but we can take it one step further and have the entire thing be automatic. If we go back to the transition in slide, go to the transitions tab, we don't need to add a transition effect, but if we come over here, you'll notice that we can control when the slide advances after a certain point. So instead of on mouse click, we're going to say after the duration of the slide. In this case, that was 0.15 times 2, so that's 0.3, and we want to let things linger just a tiny bit. So I'm actually going to say half a second here, and now we've set the slide up to automatically move on to the next one after half a second. So let's look at the final effect altogether. There's the first slide, and I'm going to click once, transition in, transition out, and we're on the third slide. That's how you create a custom transition in PowerPoint. Now obviously you could take this to any extreme that you want to. You could add as many shapes and at different angles, different colors. Uh, you can add circles coming in, in and out. Be creative, see what you can do with it, and let me know what you come up with. If you like this video, please click subscribe, and thank you for watching.